if your theology is not causing you to live a godly life, then your theology is deeply aberrant. First of all, we should never forget that Christian theology is, before it is anything else, it is revelatory. Christian theology is not what mere men have devised through their thinking. Christian theology is rooted and grounded in God's revelation. That's where we begin, and in a real sense, that is where we end. God's revealed Word shapes and styles and informs all our thinking about Christian theology. Secondly, Christian theology is exegetical. Let me remind you of the words our Lord Jesus Christ spoke to his disciples on the road to Emmaus after his resurrection. Beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he, that is Christ, interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Christian theology is rooted in the Bible. It is not, first of all, philosophical. It is exegetical. It takes its form and its substance out of the word that God has spoken. Thirdly, that impresses on us that Christology, the doctrine of Christ, is found in all the scriptures. Jesus said from Moses, he interpreted to them the things concerning himself in all the scriptures. The Old Testament, no less than the New Testament, teaches us about the Lord Jesus Christ. Then fourthly, we should remember that Christian theology is pastoral. You'll know Paul's great words in 2 Timothy chapter 3, all scripture is God-breathed, pasagraphe theopneustos, and is profitable for instruction, for rebuke, for correction, and for training in righteousness that the man and woman of God may be perfectly equipped for every good work. Christian theology is not merely to titillate our minds. It's not merely to instruct our understanding. Christian theology is to shape how we live. If it's not practical and if it's not pastoral, it isn't Christian. 